All right, back down here at F6 Outdoors, my buddy Jamie Fuller, the owner, operator, the Bowtech, the Wizard, as I've talked about him before. We've done a lot of bow builds, and this is going to be a new bow build for me anyways with a new brand. Switched over to Hoyt Archery this year. Um, we're going to be setting up the Ventum 30. New cam system they've got on here. Um, a lot of the same structure of the riser is, is very similar um, to what they've done in the past, but the new cam system, when I shot it for the first time, I really liked it. Uh, it felt good to me, and I've been hunting with um, the RX4 Turbo um, early this you know spring for uh, for turkey season. So, real anxious to get this set up and then get back to South Dakota and try to get that last bird for this Grand Slam. So we're gonna go through the bow build, and Jamie's gonna pretty much take over, kind of talk about the bow. Um, we're gonna be using all HHA equipment as far as sights and rest and stabilizers on here. Um, so, Jamie, take it over. Hey everybody, Jamie here at F6 Outdoors. Uh, John Mulligan from Arrow Wild TV just brought in his brand new 2021 Hoyt Venom 30. Uh, we're going to get him set up today. We are an authorized Hoyt dealer, so John decided he's going to go ahead and bring his bow to get set up again by us. Um, he's got his HHA Tetra inline sight. He's also got his HHA Virtus Rest and his Tetra stabilizer system. It's a back bar, front bar bracket set up. We're going to play with that a little bit today, see what we can do for him, but we set up quite a few bows here for John, so I think we know what he likes. Stay tuned. paper had John shoot it through the piece of paper. Um, we had a left tear to start out with so we went ahead and used the HBX tuning uh, shim kit. I moved the cams a little further to the left. Still got a slight tear so we're going to go ahead and move this rest to the right a little bit. I mean we're talking maybe a sixteenth or so to clean that tear up. All right so we just got this bow set up in there, paper tuned. Now we're back on the other side of the shop in the range and we're going to go ahead and start setting our 20 yard pin then I'll be able to go outside and set the sixteenth. Alright, just came in from outside, um, did a walk back all the way to 60 and you know the way that these HHA, the single pin sight works is it comes with a setup wheel dial and you just keep walking back, cranking it up, walking back, walking back until your single pin is hitting at 60 yards. Whatever that number says is the number of sight tape that you put on there. Of course, starting out at zero, finding 20 and then going back. For me, it came to number 57 on this bow, which is actually making this one of my faster bows that I've shot recently. But like Jamie talked about earlier, uh, the Pictini rail mounting up here, it's kind of cool. It's keeping stuff off the side, putting it more in line. So that's a neat design that Hoyt and, and HHA have, uh, they got going on where they complement each other. Um, I do have a standard rest on the side, the HHA Virtus. Um, but also using this back bar from HHA, it's new for them this year. And there's tons of little micro adjustments up, down, change the angle. Right now, uh, I am leaving on the little short stubby 
uh, stabilizer in the front. Uh, Jamie and I just off recording, we're talking about it, that it kind of works like a 10 inch stabilizer should have been you know, mounted up here, but having it down here on the lower uh, feels pretty good. Um, I'll put a tight spot quiver on here whenever I get home and that's about it. Um, we don't have the bow chronographed. I am kind of curious where it's at, but I'm guessing it's probably going to be 285 to 300 ish somewhere in that range, you know, sub 300, um, with the arrow setup that I'm, that I'm shooting. I'm shooting those Easton axis, uh, with 50 grain up front, hundred grain head and a Luminoc on the back with the little small, uh, pro max four blank, uh, four Fletch, um, taught from, uh, Taught from John Dudley, Mr. Knock on TV. So this is the new Hoyt Ventum 30. And we did have to go into the shims. Hoyt uh, does provide a shim kit to the dealers, authorized dealers. And we did have to move uh, the cam over uh, one position, basically to the, to the left for me. Um, this is a left-handed bow. And um, so we did have to make that change. And then uh, there was just a, a micro tune on the rest and um, we were good. Even though this is a new bow, Jamie is very proficient when it comes to bow setups of all makes and models and brands. So if you're in the area of Southeast Iowa or if you wanna travel a little bit and just make sure that you're going to, uh, going to a good shop with real professional guys, be sure to check out F6 Outdoors in Salem, Iowa. Um, definitely won't be disappointed. Jamie has, he set up every bow that I've had since 2016, uh, since I moved here to Iowa and he's way faster than I would have been a lot of trial and error. Um, and when you get into things like where you possibly might have to shim cams or something like that, that's not something most people want to tackle at home. Uh, it's a whole lot easier having somebody who does it and is proficient with it and knows what changes to make and has all the right tools has the right presses, has a, the draw board where we can check timing and we can check draw weights and let offs and we can verify all that kind of stuff. All of those things come into play. You know, you can buy all that equipment for a couple grand and then take years and years and years of experience to learn it. Or you can come down here to a guy like Jamie that has all the equipment here and, and you're going to get that service and expertise. So this is the new Hoyt. Uh, the next video is we'll actually set up the uh, RX-5. And I've got one of those coming. That one we're gonna do in the uh, wilderness. This is in the buckskin, um, but it's not gonna be the Ultra. It's also gonna be the 30. And after shooting that RX-4 Turbo, um, I just really like that smaller axle to axle. Uh, so I'm be real excited to set that bow up and, and get that one ready to go for this year as well. But this one's ready. We're gonna take this one back to South Dakota and see if we can get this last uh, this last Miriam 